Hey everyone, it's Adriel with Funnel Flare. Today I wanted to go over deploying multiple appointment schedulers for salespeople. Uh, really in this presentation, I'm gonna be talking about the organization and deployment of these for, uh, for multiple people at once, so doing them in bulk. Uh, if you're just looking for the basics, check out our appointment scheduler basics video. This is mostly going to be co covering the approach, preparation, authorizing apps, testing and training people, change management and that kind of a thing. Uh, first, let's talk about why we're doing this, what our approach is going to be. Really, appointment schedulers, they're schedulers for salespeople. Uh, they allow prospects to click on a link, go to a page, and book a time in a salesperson or SDR's calendar. Uh, really, this stops phone tag, calling back and forth between a prospect and a, and a salesperson, never getting a hold of them. You send them this link, and they can self-book right into your calendar. So it's it's fantastic for that. Um, it's great for salespeople who are busy, busy executives who don't need an, uh, or sorry, don't have an executive assistant, but really need one. Uh, and SDRs as well, who need to get a follow-up call. A lot of the SDRs are, and, and salespeople really are constantly calling out, constantly making contacts with customers. And, um, they may not be able to take a call in very often. So using an appointment scheduler is a, a more sure way of ensuring that you book that, uh, that follow-up call. Really what we're trying to do here is save time, uh, save frustration. So get rid of that frustration by planning around it and increase adoption of the platform. Because the platform is going to save people's time, uh, but we need to make sure that they're actually using the platform and uh, and adopting it. So I think one of the key steps that's important here is in preparation. Uh, good preparation will lead to, to good outcomes. We just need to think about what steps we need to take and make sure that those are well prepared for and this is gonna go really smoothly. And there's a bunch of stuff that we can do to uh, to ensure that this is gonna go smoothly. The first thing that I would recommend, just try building an appointment scheduler yourself. If you take the time to try it out, you're going to see if it works and you're gonna get some familiarity that uh, that's going to allow you to help deploy these things in mass with, uh, with your salespeople. Um, I would recommend taking a gathering step of just gathering all the stuff you need. Uh, so like assets for the appointment scheduling page, if, the, if there's any special text or questions or headshots or any of that kind of stuff, grab all that stuff up and then get all the, the assets for the salespeople, whether they be name, email address, uh, working hours, put all that stuff in a spreadsheet. Um, especially if any, if you're doing more than three people use a spreadsheet for this stuff, because, uh, uh, that's going to make it easier to check back afterwards because afterwards you're going to deal with salespeople can't remember what the URL for their booking thing is and all that kind of stuff. So if you put it inside of a spreadsheet like this, it's going to save you frustration and it's going to make deployment faster and uh, and more efficient. When we look at the prep work that we can do, uh, we can create a, and get approval on the booking page, reminders, confirmation uh, page content as well. Um, we want to make sure that when in our setup, we set up all the salespeople as employees in Funnel Flare. Uh, we're going to create new appointment calendars for each salesperson. We're going to configure the availability scheduling, uh, scheduling options. We can do all this stuff before even meeting with the salespeople. And I would recommend that you do that. You, if, if you're the, the pro user of Funnel Flare, I would just get all this stuff done right up front uh, so you don't have to do it later on. Now, when you're editing the scheduling page, you have a couple of different options. Uh, you can do them onesie twosie, go in, edit them, pop in a photo and a little bit of uh, content. Um, or you can do them in bulk and do like a, a template page. So you can build a, a, a template published page and then use that template when, when deploying these things. It really depends on how many you're doing and how different they're all going to be. If they're all going to be pretty basic, then you might not have to do much of anything. Um, if you want them pretty fancy, I would recommend a template. Now for this next step, we're going to need to actually meet th with the salespeople and authorize all these apps. Um, we want to do this in bulk. I would recommend just doing video calls with each salesperson, maybe 15 minutes or so to, uh, to accomplish uh, this task. Um, I would video call with each salesperson, log into their Funnel Flare account or have them do it. Uh, go to the appointment calendar, add the app, make sure to get in their calendar. Uh, and then select the calendar that you want to book the appointments to. While you're still in this meeting, you may want to get into some training and testing as well. Um, I would give the salesperson the URL to their new client scheduling page uh, with them in the room or on the video call. Uh, I would get them to modify their email signature so that the link is included inside their signature with a, a, a book a meeting with me or schedule a call link that uses that, uh, that URL. And then I would also show them how to book holidays or book time where 
they don't want people to <laughs> to book into their calendar and just show them that if they add a, a busy block inside their calendar, uh, that's a block that uh, that clients can't book into. And then the next thing to do is to actually test it. So I would book a test meeting with the salesperson, show them the whole process. So you'll book it on your phone or something like that. Uh, go on your phone, go to their URL, book it in there, show the salesperson how it, uh, how it shows in their calendar, show them the options for canceling or editing it. Um, and then later, as the meeting uh, reminders show up in your inbox, just forward them to the salesperson so that they know what their clients are going to get on the other side of things. And then I think this is key in this meeting, book a follow up meeting one week later, because you want to make sure that um, the adoption is going well, you want to make sure that salespeople are actually using the software. Um, and the way to do that is just to check in and make sure that they're they're getting the full use out of it. And finally, if you're deploying this with a team of 10 salespeople, you may have one or two holdouts that just want to do it the old way, or maybe they just don't like technology as much as everyone else does. Um, but the advantage of a system like this is in consistency and in saving everyone time across the board. So um, I would really encourage you to find uh, maybe those early adopters or people who are getting uh, really good use out of the system, get some quotes from them, communicate those benefits to the rest of the team, make sure that they understand the time savings. Uh, and then if you have to work with management to make sure everyone on the team is using the software and saving time because really that's ultimately really ultimately what we're trying to do here is to get everyone to save a bunch of time and uh, uh, get more sales.